Bristol is a world-renowned filming location. Every day we have people coming from all over the world to film movies, TV shows and big productions in this city. And today is one of those days. Uh, here on Made in Bristol TV today, we are joined by Lou Faringo. So Lou, what brings you to this part of England? Very nice to meet you. Well, being a deputy sheriff in LA, I'm a certified police officer, so I wanted to come here, show my support, exchange information, visit the, the police department because my father was a police officer, yeah. and my support because most people have the impression, you know, cop, cop, police officers, they don't understand what it's like to be on the other side of the law. Because it's all about homeless security, it's about protection, protecting life and property, and support because that's something I believe in and I'm very honored to come here. We're shooting this movie called Instant Death, it's a great action film, and besides that, I just wanted to come here and visit and uh, do a little hello and show my support. So this is uh, the Patchway Police Centre. How does it compare to uh, your equivalent to this in L.A.? Well, if you were with me in L.A., I would book you on five <laughs> minutes. It's OK. I bet, I bet we, when you joined the police department, the crime rate, rates plummeted, did they? You hope so. so yes. what, what drew you to, as well as your acting career, pursue uh, a job in, in the police force? What drew you to that? Well, my father was a police lieutenant. Oh, right. And I've always been fascinated with law enforcement. So one time I was talking to the sheriff, he said, why don't you go through the academy? Mm -hmm. And I took six months out of my life, went through the academy, you know, the shooting, the driving, everything, to be certified, not deputized. Mm -hmm. And because I want to give back. So you're an action man both on the screen and in real life then. So let's talk about this film that you're shooting in Bristol. What's it called again? Okay, the movie is called Instant Death. Yeah. And it's a great action film about a guy from the special forces. He kind of adjusted back to, to, to society yeah. and they harm his family, like his daughter. And then he, he gets his revenge. Is this your character? Yeah. John Bradley. And it's a great action film, great action scene, everything's believable. And uh, we're shooting at the airport, but it's, it's one of those films that you root for this guy. It's yeah. Like, and it's all about getting revenge. Yeah. Like Taken. So, oh, I, I'm a big fan of Taken. Yeah. So obviously we'd be wrong not to mention one of your most, most famous roles as the Hulk. You are renowned, you, you were the person that brought such a famous character off the paper to the screens. Do you remember your first audition for the Hulk? How did that go? Well, I remember I was training for competition. I was like six weeks away from competition. I was in the best shape of my life. I received a phone call. They said, we have an audition for the Hulk. I said, yeah, I said, I want this part. I went down for the audition. 24 hours later, I'm filming the Hulk. I'm looking in the mirror and saying to myself, I see these white eyes, these teeth. It was that quick, 24 yeah, hours? Yeah, I'm saying wow. to myself, what am I doing? <laughs> but <clears throat> what's interesting, the character's beautiful because when the Hulk uh, came out, it became huge in England. Mm. Yeah. And every country you base the Hulk because of the fact that what he, you want to do, he does for you. It's a great uh, uh, yeah. acting role for me. It was the beginning of me getting started in the business. So, but I, I know there was a documentary that sort of put you on the map as well. Um, it was called Pumping Iron. Um, did that bring you into sort of the world of the media? Yes, because when I did Pumping Iron, I realized I like to be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And that led me to do the, the Hulk and also get into the mainstream of acting and the show yeah. business. The Hulk's quite a funny one because he is, he is two people. What, you know, when you took on that role, did you sort of see a deeper meaning in it? Yes, because I knew that it's about G versus E. Mm -hmm. And he was a creature, the fact that everybody saw him as a monster, the creature. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, it Bill Bixby, David Banner, Bruce Banner's alter ego where he mm -hmm. fights to save people's lives. And it's a lonely guy. Yeah. And it's funny, this movie, Instant Death, is very similar because you got the same kind of character. Yeah. And he had all these demons inside of him, and he decided to take action. Fantastic. I mean, to play the Hulk, you have to be in pretty good shape, in a particular shape, which you clearly still seem to be in. How did you begin with bodybuilding? It was, it was back when you were around 13, wasn't it? Yeah, I was about 12, 13. I was fascinated with power. I was very introverted. I got mm -hmm. bullied a lot. So I got involved in bodybuilding and fitness because I wanted to be powerful. Yeah. And then that got me, led to the fact that it got me involved in bodybuilding competition to be a world champion because I like competing with myself. Was there any particular um, heroes that you had or people that inspired you to begin on this journey of physical improvement? I would say the beginning was like Sean Connery, Jane Bond, like Steve Reeves, the Hercules film. I ended up playing Hercules yeah. myself. But to me, like James Bond was like suave, he was a real uh, hero. I wanted to emulate that. Yeah. The real man quality. Yeah. So welcome to Bristol, Lou. It's been great to have you here. And uh, hopefully the film goes really well. I'm really looking Thank forward to seeing it. it. Thanks for talking to us. Yes, indeed.